Hello, my stars and galaxies. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot, okay? Um, today we are doing a reading for Aries. There's a song about you, a song about the Aries today, okay? Now, before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? Please note that the Tarot Instagram page the Tarot Business phone number, my Cash App, PayPal, all in the description box below so you know exactly where to go whenever you're ready for your personal reading, okay? Personal reading prices are in the description box below. Um, you know, you guys can just pick whichever price better suits your budget, okay? Now let's pick whichever one, you know, doesn't matter. Whichever one you feel more comfortable choosing, right? And then, you know, pick it. The only thing I ask of you, though, is not to send money um, without making an appointment, okay? Don't wildly send money. Don't, like, send money and then send a text message afterwards saying, oh, yeah, I want a reading, da 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 da, -da. This is for the fitness for a 30-minute reading. I'm like, okay, that's great, but you still have to do, you still have to do it by the book, okay? What makes you think that you're first in line, okay? So, yeah, you guys gotta really hit me up. And add, if you want a personal reading, just ask me if personal readings are available, Okay. And I will tell you what I what times and days I'm available for. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Oh yeah. Then you got membership. Okay. The link to my membership is in the description box below. Right. So if any of y'all are interested, y'all can just hit that up. Okay. Just hit up the membership, and you know, pick whichever one better suits your budget. Okay. You guys got the Starlight package, the Galaxy package, and then the Universe package. Okay. $2.99, $4.99, and $9.99 in that order, okay? So like I said, just pick whichever one better suits your budget, okay? And yeah, just be a part of my membership. Be the VIPs of my channel, okay? So that's basically all I wanted to say. And yeah, so now we can move on, get into the reading, okay? Hope everyone's having a good morning, good night. I hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better, okay? Oh, let me see what we got here. So this one came out. Let's see what we got on, on this one, okay? Let me come over. It's bet it's between us both, okay? Wait, our secret, okay? So there's a secret going on, okay? Somebody's, somebody is definitely hiding a secret from other people, okay? It's like a, it's maybe like, it's like, it's like a dirty little secret, okay? Right? Maybe you guys got something going on. Maybe there's something like... Um, like maybe like a situation like you're seeing somebody, right? But you know other people wouldn't, wouldn't approve or, you know, you're not supposed to be um, really with that person because maybe they're, they're already dating somebody else or maybe you're already dating somebody else. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right? Like, excuse me, y'all. Just had breakfast earlier. So anyway, but yeah, you know, you maybe you're see, like this is like y'all little dirty secret. You guys are just seeing each other on the down low or et cetera, et cetera. Okay, or whatever the situation is, it's definitely kept between you two of you guys. Okay, you don't want anyone else to find out. Okay, maybe your question, maybe you're, maybe you quite, you're wondering how is it gonna work out? Like, how is this gonna go? How is the situation gonna work out? Is anyone gonna find out? Is it gonna end on a bad note? Okay, well, secrets. Well, depending on what the secret is, it really depends if it ends on a good note or pop or or, or or a bad note. Okay, like it really depends. Like it really depends what it is and then who you tell and then you know how other people take how other people take it once they find out okay we're gonna get a little bit more insight on this we're gonna get a little bit more insight on what's going on okay we're gonna get a little bit more insight on what's going on also i hope you guys are having you know a good day and stuff like that me i just woke up <laughs> Yeah, I woke up, brushed my teeth, had breakfast, and now I'm here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. You got the Three of Swords. Okay. Uh, um, the ring light may... Yeah, yeah, here we go. The Three of Swords. Okay, sorry for the ring light. You know? But anyway, okay, with the Three of Swords, you, you feel 
somewhat bad about the situation okay you feel you like you feel guilty in a sense maybe you feel guilty maybe you feel like you know you shouldn't be doing this you know this is something you're not really supposed to be doing right and yet here you are okay you know you feel like you're you, you feel like you can't really t like just willingly talk to anybody about the situation okay maybe it's the kind of situation where it's like like i said it's forbidden not supposed to happen not even supposed to exist not even supposed to be a conversation that's how serious it is Okay, and yet you still did it. Maybe now, now let's keep in mind you are a grown person. And you're gonna do, you're gonna do whatever you want, and you're gonna make your own mistakes and da 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 da, right? But it's still important to acknowledge. But at least the good thing is that you're acknowledging that you made a mistake. You're doing something wrong, or you know you're involved in something that you know is wrong, and you're what do you call it? You're like, um, what's the English? What's the word for it? Like, now you're really thinking things through now, okay? And you starting to, and now you're starting to think like, oh, what if somebody finds out? What if somebody um, realizes what's going on? I'm going to be so in much trouble. People are going to be upset, sad, screwed. Now, normally I would say, hey, don't care about what people think. But you, but this is actually something that is not even supposed to exist. Like I said, maybe, for example, it's somebody that you're um, seeing and you know that person's already married or something like that, you know, and that person that's married... You know, you're like you're friends with the person that they're married to, like you know stuff like that. You know, you know that's like that kind of situation. So that's probably why you feel so bad. That's why the guilt is starting to take over. Okay, it's y'all secret, but you know in the back of your mind it's wrong. Okay, so you got the six of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, all right. With the six of pentacles in the reverse, you feel like um, that you're. Um, abusing that per like you abusing that distance that abusing that person from afar <laughs> abusing that distance my god shoot i need to get more nap time if that's the case but anyway abusing that person's kindness or patience or just their overall relationship okay because y'all are involved in something that you know is not supposed to happen okay it's not even supposed to exist okay all right and you feel like you feel like you're betraying that person okay like you feel like you're being you're betraying them. you're involved in something you know you shouldn't be and yet you're still here you're still in it you're still all up in the business right and you know now but it's good the, the good again the good thing is that you're acknowledging that it's wrong you're acknowledging you shouldn't do it and stuff like that so you're acknowledging that so that's good okay and you're and you maybe and you have some kind of um humility and what you call it? what's another thing you have some kind of um, um um guilt like you're capable of feeling guilt so that's good you know you're 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 um acknowledging that what you're doing is wrong and you're starting to think you're, you're starting to think about coming clean okay all right then you got the ten of pentacles in the reverse all right ten of pentacles in the reverse now I know you feel like you can't really go to anybody with this other than the person that's involved in, this, in the secret with you You feel like you can't really go to anybody with this Right because it's just like oh my god What if I tell somebody I'm screwed because if I'm if I tell somebody They might tell other people and then other people will tell other people and it'll reach the person I'm trying to avoid that secret to the main person right so you feel like you are trapped in something that you can't even confide it to someone in, right? That's how bad the situation is. That's how no. That's how it must be a really, really bad thing. Similar to what I said earlier, like oh, you're seeing somebody who's married and you're friends with the person that's married. Like your friend, you're you're married with their. I mean, excuse me, you're friends with the married person. Like, like you know, you know them both and you're friends with one of them, but you're seeing the partner. Okay. And, you know, something like that, you know, something, something like, you know, you're not supposed to be doing something that's like, a, like it would be like a third party. Okay. It's definitely like a third, definitely a third party going on. You know, you don't, you know, you're not supposed to be doing it. And yet here we are, here I am talking to you and, you know, calling you out, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay at the same time. You know, I'm not here to judge. I don't judge people on here. You know, everyone has their reasons for doing things. So don't worry. All right, we're going to get to the nitty gritty and I'm going to tell you how this is going to work out. Okay. The nine of cups in the reverse. All right. Okay. I do need to warn you though. In the nine of cups in the reverse. Okay. Just by doing this, you're losing blessings. Okay. You're losing blessings. You're losing good karma. Okay. Because you're not supposed to be doing this. 
You're not supposed to. Okay? You're not supposed to be doing this, right? Because the reason I say that is, um, um, what you call it? It's kind of self-explanatory. You're never supposed to be doing things that you know is going to hurt other people, hurt other people that's going to that, that be getting involved, you know, like, or, or like seeing anybody you know you're not supposed to see if they're already in a relationship, okay? Like, that's no, okay? That's no. That's, that's bad. You can't do that. You understand? You know, and maybe you weren't originally with that, you know, but, may, but sh maybe shit just happens. And it's just like, oh, well, I guess this is our secret now. We can't, we definitely can't tell nobody. Maybe you're already in a relationship too. That's especially why you don't want no one to know. Okay. Maybe y'all are both in a relationship and yet y'all messing around in the back, in the back seat. Okay. Or in the bedroom. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We tend to push people away at times. Remember, not everyone is the same. Okay. Tend to push people away. I'll say it again. You, you tend to push people away sometimes, but remember, not everybody's the same. So this means that there is somebody that you can confide in. There is somebody that you can tell um, your business to. Like maybe there's there is somebody, at least one person, other than the person that's already involved in the secret with you. There is somebody that you can that you can trust. All right, to talk to about this. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Right? You can. There is somebody. Right? You just gotta find the right one. Maybe it could be your mom, your dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, somebody. Okay, cousin. But like any, but still, you know, cause maybe they'll like, yeah, maybe like they'll be like me, like kind of surprised, but they'll still like if you explain to them like, hey, you made a mistake. Don't tell anybody. Like, don't tell anybody. I'm trying to fix it and stuff like that. I'm trying to fix my mistake and blah blah blah. Maybe they won't tell nobody. All right. I don't think they will anyway, honestly. Right? Because again, that's probably it's not even their business to tell so still but they're you know, they are gonna you probably expect a little bit of a lecture from them like how could you do that why would you do that blah, 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 blah. you know but still they won't tell nobody okay they ain't that they ain't that cool so there is somebody you can tell all right or confiding you just gotta pick the right one okay so the five of pentacles the five of pentacles two all right let me tell you something right now and i'm not even all that surprised with the five of pentacles, when shit gets real, when shit hit the fan, they talk about, oh, this is our dirty little secret, you know? This is our dirty little secret, okay? They saying that right now, but when shit hits the fan, right? And shit gets serious and it's time for them to tell, tell the truth and confess or the secret is out, they're going to deny it. They're going to leave you. They're gonna run you under the bus. They're gonna throw you. What is it? Run you under the bus or throw you under the bus? I think it's throw you under the bus. But um, yeah, they're gonna throw you under the bus. I don't know what you thought would be any different. Okay, they're gonna throw you under the bus. You know, and it's not even that. You, it's not. It, it's it's just they don't want. That's how they act. Okay, when they know they're in trouble for something, they know they go. They know they know that they're gonna be screwed. You know they kind of just see if they can den deny the lie longer, okay, and see how far denying it will take them, right? But listen, this is just what they're gonna do, okay? They're not even gonna have your back if shit hit the fan, okay? They're not gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You should be honest. Nope, they're gonna lie. They're gonna lie and be like, oh, I don't know what he or she is talking about. Nope, don't know what they're talking about, right? The nine of wands. Okay. The nine of wands. You're trying to hold it together. You're trying to push through your problems. You're trying to be done with, out and done with this, right? But you feel really stressed out. You're trying to just be done with this crap, okay? You're trying to, um, like maybe, like maybe you feel like you want to come clean, but you need to find the right approach, okay? The wheel of fortune, okay? All right, so the wheel of fortune, it, for you, it will be a little bit of a but at least you know you'll be at least slightly commended for being honest um you know and if this person does not come clean with you like if this person does not clean with you it's only going to get worse for them because they're denying denying and you're thinking of coming clean you want to come clean you want to be honest you want to be sh straight up straightforward so that's a good thing you know honesty is the best policy so at least you're trying to repent from your mistake oh excuse me 
okay? Then we got the Four of Wands, okay? With the Four of Wands, you want out, you want out of this crazy ass situation drama. You don't want this to hold you down. You don't want this to be held over your head, okay? You want to be free from the burden, the mental burden that is taking us, like is taking on you, okay? You don't want this mental burden, okay? So you feel like if you come clean, you tell the truth, you will be set free. Now, some people may be shocked, and some people may be angry, sad, disappointed, whatever they're gonna feel, right? But it, at least that'll pass, right? And you, you know, at least you're being honest for your mistake, rather than finding out that you've been lying for years and years and years, that makes it worse. But, you know, at least you're for trying to free yourself from this problem, okay? You don't want this problem over your head anymore, so you're trying to free yourself from it. So that's good that you wanna, um, what you call it, free yourself from it and it will fortunately end on a good note okay you know yes some people might be react differently but at least you are honest and at least you're freeing yourself from the mental burden this person oh god god have mercy on their soul but anyway hope this did read i hope this reading resonated with you i hope it's helped in any way but if it did not resonate with you i do apologize hopefully the next one will but in the meantime though you can still like the video share the video subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when i upload all right this has been the universe tarot namaste